Okay, so here we go, we made it. It's very rainy. Very, very rainy. But, we're here. What's up Brick fans and welcome back to Brick Mad Sam. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be heading to Newcastle Brickfest and I thought that it would be a really cool opportunity to uh, do a little vlog, a bit of a fun uh, little journey on its way to Newcastle. So um, tonight is actually the night before I have to go and set up tomorrow. I'm going to be taking at least four builds. Uh, I've packed two already so hopefully uh it's not going to take me too long to pack up some of the other builds let's have a look at what i am doing packing wise the build that i did for uh coconut bricks mock contest this one uh that's actually already packed from last time now you, you i'm sure you're saying to me like what do you mean packed like it's not even packed uh there's no box or anything no this is actually how i carry it and this is uh part of my uh, camper van. It's actually uh, an extension of the back kitchen and it fits large perfectly because it's like 60, 60 studs wide which doesn't really fit in any of the plastic containers I've got. So what I've done is I've just packed it in and this will basically ride shotgun with me uh, in the van on the way to the con. So a bit of a problem. I don't any boxes. This is why you shouldn't leave packing for a convention until the night before. All right, problem solved, I think. Went downstairs to the house, found two boxes that are probably the right size, no lids. So, look, they've got four walls. It should hold things together. So, hopefully this will be enough. So here we go, some more marvelous packing. Cram that in there. Hopefully it doesn't break apart too much. It's really just to give a little bit of padding to these little statues. And uh, I had to take the top section off because it literally does not fit in. In fact, I think I will even need to take uh, all of these ones off still. So I might just like, just chuck them in. I mean, it's just like a single row anyway. Uh, and then hopefully the lid, I can find the lid somewhere. Other than that, uh, that one's pretty packed, so excitement. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to having to replace all these guys tomorrow because no doubt uh, they're going to fall uh, all over the place. So lucky I'm taking this video because I'm going to need to use them to figure out where all these guys are meant to go again. But honestly, it's just... There we go. They're all in there. There's my quasi Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Fear not people, I found the lid. Naboo is done. Okay, so next problem. Uh, this doesn't fit in standing up, so I'm gonna have to lay it down. It's not the most stable of builds. So we'll see how that one goes, but uh, I am not a confident man right now. All right, so it hasn't gone too badly. I just crammed uh, these large bulky bits in between. So even if this does break off, hopefully it breaks off in one chunk and I can put it back together and it also won't destroy all of the greebles and stuff that are underneath on the side that's lying down. So hopefully that is okay and um, nothing more will come of this. Uh, but yeah, the last one is going to be a real doozy because I've got to deconstruct the tower uh, that I have in there, which is pretty fragile. And then uh, also there's palm leaves and stuff like that. So I guess, um, yeah, going to be doing that one now. Well, that could have certainly gone worse, but um, I guess we'll see if they make the trip. Oh, little palm trees. We'll see if you make the trip. I'm going to have to drive real careful. I'm not going to wrap them up because basically they're all going to fall apart as soon as they anything touches them. So we'll just see how that goes. But the good news is... Da, 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 found a lid! Woo! So that's pretty much me for tonight. The packing is done. I'm looking forward to getting up to Newcastle tomorrow and uh, starting to set up. So I will catch you tomorrow morning. Coffee's ready. All right, so day of breakfast. 
on the way we're all packed up in here i've got my nice little bit of foam which is keeping the uh, boxes in so hopefully uh they survive the trip but uh, other than that we're on the road check it out wingman <laughs> he's wedged in there pretty tight so we're almost here wouldn't be a con without some uh snacks so i'm gonna jump out now lollies in hand onward to the convention all right we made it we're here newcastle breakfast at the race course this is what it looks like in here this is the packing dock and the convention is just through there so i'm gonna get out now and see what's doing We are, everyone is mad at work putting all of their builds together. And here is my little space. So the builds mostly made it. Thankfully, only a few things to put together and then it should be done. Okay, so setup is done. Only a few little bits that I need to fix in the end. But yeah, good to go. Now I'm all set up, I'll take the opportunity to have a look around and show you guys some of the other builds being set up around the con. For those that I know or that have accounts, I will include them in the descriptions below. For those that I don't, I do apologize. If anyone does know the names, please uh, feel free to leave comments below. But uh, just a few stats while we're having a look around on Newcastle Brickfest itself. Uh, the show runs annually and is hosted by uh, Rainbow Bricks Lug, of which I have recently become a very proud member. And the event uh, raises money for local charities. Uh, in this case, I believe it was for the John Hunter Hospital, which is in Newcastle. Um, and there were over 70 exhibits, uh, which included 100 exhibitors, over 250 tables worth of Lego mocks and collections, making it one of the largest events held in the state this year. It's also one of the longest running Lego fan events and it will be celebrating its 10th birthday in 2023. Over 3,800 people came through the doors during the event and those that did got to see some truly amazing builds and collections. Super cool, guys. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Good time to turn the lights on. <laughs>
the end of the show for today. It's day one. And everyone is covering their builds because it's open air. And apparently they get pigeons in here. So, you know, how do you cover your builds from pigeon poop? Bunnings. That's how. So there we go, day one wrapped up. Sunset. Ooh, turn it on. It's meant to be 90% rain tomorrow, so that's going to be fun driving up early morning. I'm going to be back at 8 o'clock, so that's like waking up at 6 to get up here, but that'll be fun. So I'll see you all tomorrow. How's this for commitment? Pouring rain, day two, hour drive in front of me. We go fun. Breakfast, here we come. Okay, so here we are. We made it. It's very rainy. Very, very rainy, but we're here. So, day two. Okay. Let's see how much pigeon poop there's been. Day two at the convention is meant to be pretty uh, big, a lot bigger than Saturday. Saturday it was only meant to be a couple of hours in the afternoon. So uh, when I got here, I had a little check of my sheets, no pigeon poop, so that was uh, a good thing. Uh, unraveled the uh, cover and that was pretty much me done. So I headed off to see a few more of the other builds that were around that I didn't really get much time to go and see uh, yesterday or maybe they weren't even uh, set up. So uh, I yeah just took that opportunity to get around and have a look at them today. So, having a great time running around, having a look at all of the, these really cool builds and uh, something then happened that I never expected and I definitely did not think I would ever see at a LEGO convention. So basically, the roof of the venue just could not hold up to the excessive rain that just kept coming and coming and coming but just like in all moments of adversity lego fans pull through <laughs> thankfully the rain did subside eventually and uh, the show was able to continue and there were heaps more builds still to check out, and here are a few more of them. Without a doubt though, the highlight of the show was a visit from my three little Brick Mad Bandits who helped me review the last of the bills. You are not this line, Amanda. You are not this line. Yeah, I'm not this line. Yeah, I'm not this line. Yeah, I'm not this line. So that's a wrap on Newcastle Brickfest. It's been a very eventful uh, event. Of course, because it's an event. Uh, there we go. Start to clean up. Dumb burger.